The meditation that we do in the Inner Peace Room is based on a technique uh, called Sahaja Yoga or Sahaja Meditation. Sahaja means spontaneous. And yoga, in its essence, it's not so much the physical exercise, but it is more a state of being. It is a state of union between our body and our spirit, the two dimensions that we are. Because before we were body, before we are mind, we are connected to this, the big energy. We are energy. And in uh, ourselves, we are built with a normal nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And this is what the, the meditation addresses. And as you see the chart, we have seven energy centers along our spines, each correspondent to, to qualities within our human qualities and virtues. And of course, they govern our organs. We have three channels, the left, the right, and the center. The left is more associated to our emotional aspect and also associated to the past. The right is more associated to the future and it is more associated to the rationale. So it's good to be in balance of the two, not to be too rational and not to be too emotional. And we find this beautiful balance in the center of ourselves. And in the center is the present moment as well. And it also represents our evolution as human beings. And the present moment is actually all that really exists, but we tend to step out of it a lot. So this meditation helps ground us in ourselves and ground us in the present moment, which is actually the only true reality. And this is sustained by a beautiful energy that lives in every human being, and it's called the Kundalini. It's a sacred energy, and it lives in the sacrum bone. The Greeks called it osacrum. They knew it was a sacred area in us. And in there lives an energy that we're born with since, yeah, that has been with us since we're born. And we in our evolution, in this lifespan, it is our birthright to be in connection to that energy, to that dimension in us. And who told us is this beautiful lady called Srimataji Nirmala Devi. She went around the world for 40 years showing human beings where this energy was, showing them how to awaken it, and everyone that has been in touch with their energy have seen major changes in their life at all levels, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, sometimes even financially. <laughs> because you just go back to a flow, you back to the flow of life and to life's abundance. You're not so cut from all these thoughts and all these fears that cut us from the flow. So this energy is really our link to the flow of life. And it is the sacred part of us. What's beautiful is that we all have a Kundalini. So when we all awaken it, we automatically enter a state of deeper peace and we contribute to more peace in the world. And the most important is that this energy is made of pure love. It is a big dose of pure, unconditional love within us. This is why we will focus today on connecting with this energy within us to open up to love and love for ourselves, because it all starts from there. All right. Sri Mataji was very generous of her heart because she knew we all had that potential. So you have to just trust yourself if you're doing this for the first time, trust that you will feel your energy, it will manifest in different ways. And those who have been following and doing it for years or following us in the Inner Peace Room, every time you do it, you are deepening your connection and the level of your energy. So I wish you peace, I wish you joy, 
and we can start. We're going to be saying a few affirmations and placing our right hand on some different centers of the body. And after each affirmation, we will say a collective affirmation together. We are lovingly addressing our mother Kundalini, the motherly energy within us. So we will call her Mother Kundalini. We'll start by taking the right hand and placing it on the left side of the hip where the leg meets the body. We say this affirmation in our heart. Mother Kundalini, please rise within me. May I please get to know the real me. Mother Kundalini, thank you for awakening self-love within me. Slowly moving your attention in the middle of the heart right in the center of your chest and bring your right hand there, feel your heart beat. Mother Kundalini, please remove any blockages in my heart. Please fill my heart with your love. Let me feel you in my heart. So that I can love myself unconditionally. And here I will invite you to say your name when you're going to say, I love you, and you say your name three times. Thank you, Mother Kundalini, for awakening self-love within me. Moving our attention and our right hand over to the left side of the heart, on top of our physical heart. And here we say internally, Mother Kundalini, 
please allow me to enjoy my true self. Please allow me to enjoy my spirit. Please allow me to recognize the beauty of myself. Thank you, Mother Kundalini, for awakening self-love within me. Slowly leave this place and bring your attention at the corner of your neck on the left side, where your shoulder meets, meets the neck on the left side. And bring your right hand there. Always stay connected to your heart throughout the whole meditation. Feel your heart, but your attention is left side of your neck. This is a place where guilt accumulates in the body and can block this energy center. Here, we say with full confidence, Mother Kundalini, I am not guilty of anything. I face my mistakes and I correct them. But I do not dwell in guilt. I am not guilty of anything. And here again with the heart, we ask, please help me to love myself and to give myself the full respect that I deserve. Mother Kundalini, thank you for awakening self-love within me. We can pull out the negative energy from guilt that she is cleansing, and we can pull it out and offer it to Mother Earth that will absorb it as we rid ourselves of the blockages. Feel the release. With that feeling of liberation, let's now take our right hand across our forehead. 
bending our head slightly into our hand. With full confidence, with all our heart, here we say, Mother Kundalini, I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. Mother Kundalini, please make me a person who has compassion for others and compassion for myself. Thank you, Mother Kundalini, for awakening self-love within me. And now with a relaxed heart, from our hearts, let's speak to our energy and bring our attention on top of the head, on the fontanelle bone area, place where it was soft as babies. Bring your right palm on this place and you can even press and massage your scalp. And your attention is under your hand. And there's a connection from where you are sitting all along your spine all the way up to above, under your hand. And here with our hearts, we say, Mother Kundalini, please deepen my connection with the energy of love. And may the love I have for myself contribute to the universal power of love. Gently move your hand up and follow your hand. Let your attention go above your head. Relax your whole body. Feel. Notice what you're feeling above your head. Bring down the right hand so that it doesn't get tired. Bring up the left hand. Keep your attention high. We could 
already balance ourselves. And to finish off, we will enjoy some sitar. Let's verify indeed if our Kundalini is awakened. Or for those who have been doing it, let's see where our balance is. So bring both hands in front of you like this. Loosen your arms and see, is there one side that feels heavier than the other? Is there one hand that... that... And to finish off, we will enjoy some sitar. Let's verify indeed if our Kundalini is awakened or for those who have been doing it. Let's see where our balance is. So bring both hands in front of you like this. Loosen your arms and see, is there one side that feels heavier than the other? Is there one hand that, that feels heavier? Whichever hand felt heavier, let it fall on your lap. If it was your left hand, if it was your left hand that fell, leave your left hand open on your lap and bring your right hand towards Mother Earth. I'll explain right after. If it was your right hand that fell, do as Rosie is doing. That means your right hand is on your lap and the left hand is up. If both hands were heavy, put both hands on the ground. So keep your positions to rebalance yourself. The right hand on the ground, helps to pull out the heaviness of the left side, which is the emotional side in the past. The left hand up like a chimney is to evacuate all the heat from the right side, which is the side of our action and our rationale. Since we tend to overdo it most of the time or think too much, we tend to overheat our right side and it produces heat. Sometimes we go so far as burning out. So we want to make sure that our right side is always balanced and we can do this exercise to evacuate the extra heat. The whole point of this is to get to the center, to our balance. So I invite you to close your eyes and don't think of anything. Keep your attention high or in your heart, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. And I will invite the Kundalini. It's a song that says, please awaken Mother Kundalini and bestow your grace upon all of us. Jago 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 Kundalini ma karo sape kripa jago kundalini ma karo sape kripa Sahasra Rame Ake Sahasra Rame Ake Chui Lenge Oham 
sama sama jago kundalini ma karo sapi kripa jago kundalini ma karo sape kripa karo sape kripa karo sape kripa Still with your eyes closed, we invite you to raise your energy from the lowest part of your tummy in the central, all along the central channel with your right hand. Scoop up your energy and bring it all the way above the head. Do this seven times. With every stroke of the hand, you will feel your energy moving along your spine or in front, right in the middle of you, crossing your forehead, relaxing it, and her presence above the head. Let that also relax your whole body from head to toe. It doesn't matter if you have not been counting. It's not so important to have the exact number. The important thing is that you feel your connection with her. And at the last time, the last time you raise her, keep your hand up again so you can fix your attention home. 